Kristen and welcome to a bonus Sunday video. Hopefully it's a bonus Sunday. If not, it might be a bonus Wednesday video depending on how my day goes. It is actually Sunday and I am home from church. I have washed off my face and we're going to start over with the It Cosmetics CC Plus Your Way to Radiant Skin 5-Piece Collection. So I purchased this um, when it was a Today's Special Value on QVC. I did purchase it myself. And I believe it is still available. I don't know if all the shades are still available as far as the um, the new CC cream, but I will link whatever I can find below for you with all the information. So first of all, what's in the kit? So it comes in this little thing here and I will show you what is in it. The first thing is the CC Plus cream and I ordered it in the shade Fair, or actually, excuse me, it's the CC Plus Illumination Cream, and I ordered it in Fair because the last time I used the CC Cream from Make Cosmetics, which I remember not loving, um, I was light, and I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that it was the wrong shade for me. So, it also comes with this delightful brush. It's in a little package. I don't know why I feel that I could have just taken it out. And it is the Heavenly Lux Radiance Wand Brush. And I have a version of this, like this, um, that's, that's similar, I think, but I like the handle on this one better. It also comes with a dual-ended brush that is called the Heavenly Lux No Tug Dual Eyeshadow Brush. I already have one of these, so we'll talk about that later. And it comes with the Lux High Performance Eyeshadow Trio, and it's called Pretty in Spring. Yeah, it's pretty in the spring. And it looks like this. Reminds me of the Smashbox trios, I, got, I must say. Like how they look. At first glance, I would say this, the cream or ivory color is shimmery and the other two are either matte or satin. We'll talk about that when I apply them. And then lastly, this comes with and it Cosmetics, but obviously, Vitality Face Disc, which I already have one, so. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I obviously have the CC cream out here. I always use a primer no matter what I'm using. So I'm just going to use a little of the Embryolis Le Creme Concentre. I think I say that right. All right, so primer on. You can tell by the fact that my cheeks got red. And we're going to go with... Ooh, that's pretty thick. I don't remember the other one being that thick. Um, I'm going to just put a couple pumps on my hand just to see. And I'm going to use the It Cosmetics 110 foundation brush. I already feel like this is going to be a better match for me. I remember the other one being really yellow. It has a slightly medicinal scent to it, but nothing crazy. I'm going to lean into my mirror a little bit here. Try to change my setup for this Get Ready With Me. Just a little bit. Almost like lemony. Did the, I think the other one smelled like lemon too. Lemon... I don't know. Lemon med medicine? No. It's, it's pleasant. It's not unpleasant. So it worked into the skin very well. It's definitely luminous. Like it's, it's glowy. It's glowy for sure. <laughs> I'm going to go back in with my brush just on my hand for what's left. And I showed you guys this before. And I will have a Bye Bye Redness, by the way. Review and demo coming soon. Speaking of redness. Alright, so pretty good coverage. And it... <laughs> I'm feeling to see if it's tacky at all. It is a little bit. I mean, just as it soaks in. But it really does... It's... It's illuminating. Definitely a good color match. Now I'm so curious about the it Cosmetics, the original one in Fair, if that would have been a better match for me. I sold my one in light to a friend of mine. All right, so um, I'm going to grab just a little bit of the CoverGirl concealer that I'm working through right now. Um, apply that under my eyes and then I'll come back. So I just kind of applied it under my eyes and then my beauty blender is still damp from this morning. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I'm just going to blend that in down my nose a little bit. I used to love this concealer, and it's not that I dislike it anymore, but it creases. And I don't know if it used to do that, or if I've just found ones that work better, you know? 
Okay, so since um, that is particularly luminous, I feel like I'm, it just, it's tacky to me. That's one of the reasons that I always top things with a powder because I feel like things are a little bit tacky and I don't like to apply any sort of um, powder product on top of foundation that's tacky because I don't feel like it blends well. So I just grabbed a little bit of the, well I grabbed, I'm going to use a little bit of, this is the Bye Bye Pores and just, I'm just going to apply that a little bit kind of here and there with the brush, the powder wand brush that came with it. So I'm just going to, just very lightly. Normally I would I would use a powder foundation, like probably because this one is so glowy, I'd use the Celebration Foundation over the top of it, but I don't want to, I want you guys to be able to see the coverage, you know, after it sits for a little bit, so. All right, I'm going to take my Vitality Disc that I've had forever and today. You can tell because there's a big old notch out of that one, so I'm just going to bronze things up a little bit. So I'm giving serious consideration to dropping down, by the way, to two videos a week versus three. If I did that, I would be curious, would you guys want Tuesday, Thursday or Tuesday, Saturday? I mean, I can't not do Tuesday. It's tough Tuesday. All right, I'm going to grab my Live Beautifully blush brush, which looks like that, and into the blush. I love this. If you were around last year at all, you are you know that I love this blush. I love this whole disc. It's delightful. I still cannot believe that when I did my It Cosmetics overview video, I forgot to talk about the disc. My favorite thing of life. So I'm gonna wipe the I have a towel in my in my lap, wipe that off, and just really make sure it's nicely buffed in. So I just grabbed my Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana and my Sephora number no. 79 brush and setting my under eye. I did put some primer on my eye by the way so it can start moving around. In the viewfinder I see this looks like it's more of a shadow than it is but I swear to you it doesn't look in person like it does. <laughs> like it does in the viewfinder. And then I'm going to use the, it's the same brush with the highlight in here. Ugh. This highlight gives me life. Alright, I'm going to put on some eyebrows and we'll be right back. Alright, so, eyebrows done. And I told you I put a primer on, the Bare Minerals primer, and now I'm just going to put a little MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And I do this because it helps I have really oily eyelids. I've mentioned this before, but if you're new. And by the way, I don't know any of the colors that are on my nails. I picked out the design. And I picked out the polishes when I was at the salon because I can't do this, let's be real. Um... But I forgot to take a picture so I would remember what the names of the colors were. I can tell you that they were gelish and that's all I know. But it's really about the idea more than it's about the, the colors. I'm just taking a little powder foundation. I, I tend to do this lately and go over everything. It just gives you a nice, you could use a cream eyeshadow. It just gives you a nice base. I don't want to use the cream eyeshadow that's in that trio because um, it's shimmery. I don't really want the shimmer all over my lid. I don't even know what I'm going to do yet. Well, I have an idea, actually. Normally, I would do a super simple look because this this kind of lends itself to a super simple look. And not that this is not going to be simple. No. There's little brushes in the bottom and a mirror. I'm having a really hard time getting it open. And that's how I found out that because that's the bottom part that opened. Okay. So, normally, I would put this all over the lid, probably this in the crease, and then this to deepen things up. And that, and that would be that. Or this in the lid, brow bone highlight deepen things up. But because I'm trying to use up my Maybelline Bad to the Bronze, it's on my list of things to use up, I'm going to put that down as a base first. So 
So the brush that I'm using to do this with is a Real Techniques base shadow brush, I think. Yes. I like this one or the other one that looks like this, but it's a little more dense. I like these for cream shadows. See how nice this, this um, color tattoo is now that I stirred it up? I got a little crazy there. So whenever I use this, I kind of go, you see I'm not coming completely into the inner corner. Sorry about that. So I'm not coming into the inner corner completely. Just right about there. I'm going to use the brush that comes with the kit only. This is mine. And I'm back. I'm going to go into this dark one and go over that. But first, however, I'm going to put it on my hand and see. That's the shade. I kind of put it there and then there as well. So you can see. I kind of wanted to see how pigmented it was before I went on my. We're just going to go over that. I'll clean it up, I promise. So I wiped it off. I have a I always have a towel in my lap. So in case everybody think anybody thinks I'm wiping things on my pants, I am not. Putting a towel in my lap is like the first thing I do when I sit down at my vanity. So I'm just this would not be my preferred brush, quite frankly. I'm trying to use things that are in the kit, but I would I definitely prefer a normal lay down brush. So I just grabbed a two thirty nine. Just so I can feel like I have a little bit more control. <laughs> you know. Shocking that I would want to have more control. <laughs> I'm kind of a control freak. Alright. <clears throat> so, I'm going to wipe this off and see how this works in the crease. So I'm going in with the, the pink color. Kind of transition out. It's just a little bit dense for that. But if you're patient and you're not using a lot of pressure, I think it will. <laughs> I think it will do the job. I'm just doing the same to this side. All right. So what I'm going to do is this is a, this is just a little bit shimmery. I've wiped that brush off again, and I'm just making sure I'm in the shot. Okay. Whenever you see me look like this, that's me looking to make sure that nothing's gone askew, that my camera's still running. I'm going to take the other end of this brush and into that really light color and then just go up under my brow bone with that. It's a great brush for that, by the way. I'm going to wipe that brush off. Same end of the brush into the brown. And no bad to the bronze under here. We're just going to go straight in with the brown. It's a good lower lash line color if you're wanting just a normal everyday sort of look. And I would wear this for an everyday look even though I've added that bad to the bronze and used the brown on the lid. I still think it's pretty pretty for everyday. I don't know what's going on outside my window. My across the street neighbor is a police officer. He's been in and out of his driveway <laughs> like four times as I'm sitting here. So now I... <laughs> So now I'm taking the Naked Basics and I'm using Walk of Shame and a 217 from MAC. And I'm not going up where I put that brow bone color. I'm just going to go right here. Oh, there was a lot of that on there, game. And just help to blend that out. And then I'm going to take a little bit more and go up here. I've showed you guys this before. Um, that's kind of my sort of cleanup method. Just help everything blend. You can use Brulee from... And wild. This is a little pinker than that, but you can use that. You can use um, Blanc type from MAC. Alright, and lastly, I've wiped off that little brush again, and I'm going to use that same shimmery shade, the white one, and I'm just putting it on there, and we're going to lay it over here. 
that inner corner where you didn't bring that you could have done this before I just forgot <laughs> I'm not a professional do you, do you guys remember oh what was his name the guy from American Idol way back I'm not a professional anyone anyone with me so before I switch off of this, I wanted to show you guys, there are the swatches of those shades. Kind of my lights turned toward me, so I hope that's not too blinding. And there are the shades there. The only thing is that that, I mean, that brown one isn't as deep as it looks in this, in the pan, I don't think. I just wish it was a little bit deeper, but with the base underneath it, it works very well. All right, I realized I should put some liner on. So I'm using the No Tug by It Cosmetics. Obviously. Well, not obviously. I just decided to use it since it was... Since I was doing It Cosmetics stuff. And then this is a Sigma E21. One of the brushes I've not been able to replace. Like, I can't find a dupe for it anywhere. There are similar ones, but I can't find an exact dupe. And I just apply... I do this almost every single day. Eyeliner, smudge it out. And tight line. This one, however, does not stay very well in the water in your tight line. It will transfer down. Just as an FYI. Alright, so here's what we ended up with. I added the It Cosmetics Hello Lashes Extensions Mascara, which is 24-hour lash extending fiber mascara. I didn't see any fibers in it, but maybe that's a good thing. And because, uh, well, anyway, it's too soon to tell, not a review on that. And then I also, I the only lip product I have from, from It Cosmetics is the Je Ne Sais Quoi, I believe. And I wanted something that, that turns a little too pink on me for this look, so I pulled my Bobbi Brown Nude Rose looks like that so I'll go ahead and zoom in so you can see it close up alright so here we go and we can probably see it's transferring a little bit on my lower lash line there sorry about that alright so that is everything I hope that you guys enjoyed this if you were wondering what I alluded to before by the way as far as these two items right here I'm going to give these away to one lucky winner um, the reason that I ordered the kit is because I, A, I love their brushes and I really wanted this brush <laughs> along with, I wanted to try that CC cream since the other one didn't work for me. I really like how this looks on my skin. I have to tell you, I really like it. Too soon to do a full review. I'll come back to you and do that if you'd like it. But first impression, how it apply, how my skin looks, I like it. And I feel like, like I said, it's a good color match. And then I really wanted to try the eyeshadows as well. So that's why I got the kit and it gave me the bonus of having a giveaway for you guys. So just go ahead and leave me a comment below. Um, it doesn't matter to me. It, it never really matters to me what you say as long as it's nice. And if it's not nice, it's constructive. <laughs> I don't think that's too much to ask. I will have all of the rules listed below, but must be a subscriber. Just leave one comment. Um... Open internationally, doesn't matter to me at all. If you're under 18, please get your parents' permission. And yeah, I think that about covers it. I will pick the winner a week from today, notify them via the YouTube messaging system, and that will be that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!